Hi, my name is Sam Collins and I performed in a number of productions for Storyhouse including Twelfth Night or What You Will by William Shakespeare from which I'll read an edited extract from Act 2, Scene 5, The Box Tree Scene where Malvolio, steward to the wealthy and desirable Countess Olivia is gulled into believing that she's in love with him. By my life. This is my lady's hand. Let these be her very C's, her U's, and her T's. And thus make she her great P's. For it is in contempt of question her hand. To the unknown beloved, this at my good wishes of her very phrases. Or by your leave, wax soft, and the impression her Lucrece with which she uses to seal, tis my lady. To whom should this be? <clears throat> Jove knows I love, but who? Lips do not move, no man must know, no man must know. Well, if this should be thee, Malvolio, I may command where I adore, but silence like a Lucrece knife, with bloodless stroke my heart doth gore. M O A I doth sway my life. M O A I doth sway my life. And then at first, let me see, let me see, let me see. I may command where I adore. Well, she may command me. I serve her. She is my lady. Why, this is evident to any formal capacity. There is no abstraction in this. And the end. What should that alphabetical position portend? If I could make that resemble something in me, softly. M O A I M Malvolio. M. What? That begins my name. Uh, um, ah, but then there is no consonancy in the sequel. A should follow, but O does, and oh, then I comes behind. Um, meow, meow, ah. well, the simulation is not as the former, and, and yet to crush this a little, it would bow to me, but every one of these letters are in my name. Oh, soft. Here follows prose. If this fall into thy hand, revolve. In my stars I am above thee, but be not afraid of greatness. Some are born great, some achieve greatness, and some have greatness thrust upon them. Thy fates open their hands, let thy blood and spirit embrace them, and to inure thyself to what thou art like to be, cast thy humble sloughs, sloth, and appear fresh. Be opposite with a kinsman, surly with servants, let thy tongue tang arguments of state, put thyself into the trick of singularity, she thus advises thee that sighs for thee. Remember who commended thy yellow stockings. And I wish to see thee ever cross garnered I say remember. Go to. Thou art made if thou desirest to be so. If not, let me see thee a steward still. Uh, the fellow of servants, not worthy to touch fortune's fingers, farewell. She that would alter services with thee, the fortunate, unhappy. But well, daylight and champagne discovers not more. This is open. Ah, I will be proud. I will read.
politic authors. I will baffle Sir Toby. I will wash off gross acquaintance. I will be point devise the very man. I, I do not now fool myself to let imagination jade me for every reason excites to this that my lady loves me. Oh, she did commend my yellow stockings of late. She did praise my leg being cross scarted and in this she manifests herself to my love and with a kind of injunction drives me to these habits of her liking. I thank my stars. I am happy. I will be strange, stuck in yellow stockings and cross garted even with the swiftness of putting on Jove and my stars be praised. Oh, uh, here is yet a postscript. Huh. Thou canst not choose but know who I am. Hmm. If thou entertainest my love, let it appear in thy smiling. Thy smile becomes thee well, therefore in my presence still smile, dear my sweet, I prithee. So, I thank thee, I will smile. I will do everything that thou wilt have me. <laughs>